It's a big twist in the Delhi liquor gate dangal. The Delhi LG Vinay Kumar Saxena has made a sensational claim. The LG office has released a letter allegedly sent by Manish Sisodia's OSD seeking access to files related to the previous excise policy. The letter which was sent on the 30th of September this year reads... The Deputy Chief Minister has desired photocopies and scan copies in a pen drive of files and documents related to the formation of Excise Policy 2021-22 and related tender documents." Unquote. Now, remember, Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia is the main accused in the Delhi Liquor Gate case. He is accused of tweaking the excise policy without the LG's nod and giving undue benefits to private liquor sellers and causing loss of revenue to the exchequer. अगर वो ईमानदार है तो उनको फाइल मांगनी नहीं चाहिए थी जब कोई किसी चीज में आरोपित होता है और उससे रिलेटेड टेंडिंग वगैरह की फाइल होती है वो फाइल अगर देखी जाएगी तो जो अधिकारी होते हैं वो उससे रिलेटेड तो सवाल पूछेंगे और वो उनमें देख लेगा कि कितने का टेंडर हुआ तो उसके वो सब वो इकट्ठे करेगा मैनुपुलेट करने की कोशिश करेगा तो इसलिए अगर वो ईमानदार है और सच्चाई तो दस साल बाद भी पूछी जाए तो सच्चाई होती है मैनुपुलेटिंग जो होती है वो स्लिप होती है हमेशा से तो उनको नैतिकता के आधार पर मांगने नहीं चाहिए था वो ईमानदार बनते हैं बहुत ज्यादा द बिगेस्ट प्रूफ ऑफ सेबोटाज ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन एंड इंटरफियरेंस इन द प्रोब इन टू शराब घोटाला हैज नाउ इमर्ज वेन अक्यूज नंबर वन मनीष सिसोदिया हु इज अ डेप्यूटी चीफ मिनिस्टर मिनिस्टर इंचार्ज ऑफ एक्साइज एंड द लिकर पॉलिसी हैज नाउ डिमांडेड द एक्सेस टू द फाइल रिलेटिंग टू शराब घोटाला एंड दैट टू ऑन अ पेन ड्राइव Clearly, it is not just a conflict of interest, a violation of principles of natural justice, but also a clear abuse of official position and an attempt to interfere with the process of the law. When the minister, who is accused number one in the entire Ghotala, is seeking access to his own liquor Ghotala files, so that perhaps he can save and protect the Ghotala bars and the mafias, or to protect his own self, this is a clear-cut case of trying to obstruct and interfere with the process of the law. And with this proof, which has now come out, it is untenable for Mr. Manish Sisodia to continue as a minister. Look, there has been huge amount of evidence out there for people to know that it was Manish Sisodia who basically ensured that this flawed excise policy was implemented. He was somebody who was in the driver's seat. He did so without cabinet approval and without the information of the uh, LG. We now have a situation where his close aide. And businessman Dinesh Arora has decided to turn approver. The election, uh, the ED has arrested two businessmen from Andhra and Telangana who are responsible for money laundering in this liquor excise scam. And therefore, Manish Sosodia for a couple of days has now gone silent. And I'm not surprised if he's trying to get access to the documents that the central agencies have. It's obviously an attempt to erase the trail. But law is going to catch up and it's quite certain and that's why the Amarmi party and Manish Sisodia in particular have completely gone silent on the matter. Big action by the Enforcement Directorate in Delhi, Laker Gate. ED has arrested two more accused, identified as businessman Sharat Reddy and Binoy Babu of liquor company Pernard Ricard. The Enforcement Directorate has conducted multiple raids in this case so far. In September, it arrested Samir Mahindru, managing director of a liquor manufacturing company, Indo Spirit. The money laundering case started from a CBI FIR that had named Manish Sisodia, Delhi Deputy Chief Minister, as an accused among others. A close aide of Sisodia. Sodia, Dinesh Arora is also all set to turn approver in the excise policy case and a big setback for the Ahmadbi party. So the Enforcement Directorate, in fact, has made two arrests today. Two businessmen have been arrested as part of the ongoing investigation into the Delhi government's previous excise policy of 2021-22, Sharat Reddy and Benoy Babu have been arrested by the Enforcement Directorate today. They've been produced before the Rouse Avenue Court in Delhi and the Enforcement Directorate has in fact sought 14 days custody of the arrested accused. They of course are arguing their case before the court at the moment and that hearing is currently underway. My colleague Amit Bhardwaj is joining me live at the moment. The ED Amit is seeking 14 days custody of Sharath Reddy and Binoy Babu. What's the latest from the court? Well, follow me. You know, the uh, arguments are being made out by the Enforcement Directorate and the Defence Council of the Accused. Uh, but uh, right now, the Enforcement Directorate 
allegations against these individuals, and it seems like that ED is trying to establish not only the money trail of which allegedly could have happened, for which you know that there have been speculations for the longest time that once the ED comes into the picture, it would mean that the ED would want to establish the money trail in the entire Delhi liquor uh, policy case. One of the strong arguments that is being made or uh, clear out is that uh, the draft policy of the liquor. 22 was found on Vinay Babu's uh, email. So the ED is saying that he had no business to have uh, to be in position of the draft policy because that could have meant undue advantage to these individuals. So, and uh, remember, if you uh, compare these arguments or if you put these arguments in context to what has been the investigative agency's uh, you know stance that uh, uh, several individuals had uh, combined together to you know had uh, had made out this conspiracy. Uh, to influence and get undue advantage of the excise policy. And uh, right from the beginning, the CBI and the FIR had also said that uh, the, uh, uh, the the entire conspiracy was done in a way that uh, the excise policy was drafted and executed uh, to give undue advantage to certain individuals and liquor mafias. And that is exactly what uh, the enforcement directorate is trying to establish through its argument in the court, where it said that draft right. policy of the... Uh, this particular, you know, uh, 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 liquor policy okay. was found on email of Vinay Babu, and uh, these arguments are being uh, given out by the ED to get more okay. custody of uh, uh, these uh, accused. Interestingly, they're also putting uh, Mr. Reddy in that uh, you know there was congestion of roundabout rupees and okay, so that. Hearing currently is in fact underway at the Rouse Avenue Court in Delhi. We of course have to await uh, the order of the court in that matter. Amit, thank you for joining us.